It is election day. This is an important day for many, many reasons. It could very well decide the future of civilization. What we're going to do here today is talk about the potential price reactions from Bitcoin specifically, and obviously the rest of the crypto market will follow as this election does proceed over the next two weeks. Obviously, this is the last day to vote, but uh, there will be the results coming in over the next two weeks, and that's going to open the door for massive, massive opportunities for trading Bitcoin, okay? And what we will say, though, is it is super, super volatile, high warning for you guys right now. And when that election result does come in, the final do-all, end-all election result, whichever side wins, I believe we get a massive massive dump okay and there, there are many reasons for this i'll explain throughout the video but without further ado let's just get straight into this Okay, we are going to dive into some statistics, the macro, where I think Bitcoin is going towards the end of the year. So after the election, after the election dump. But what we will say is I am expecting it to dump when the election results come through. And there are two reasons for this, right? The first reason, let's just say Trump wins, okay? If Trump wins, who currently controls the economy? Who controls the stock market? Who controls everything? It's BlackRock, right? BlackRock do not want Trump to win, okay? So I believe a lot of the people on the Democrat side, they will be rage quitting the economy. The economy will then crash, okay? So the stock market will crash and Bitcoin is coupled with the stock market. So what I will say here is, yes, Bitcoin will be dragged down with that, right? So that's if Trump wins. Uh, if Kamala wins, okay? So the Democrats, if they win, then what will happen here is crypto itself and Bitcoin will crash. And the reason for that is Kamala is very, very much against crypto. She's tried to get some of the crypto guys votes, okay, and then pulled out of that massively because people can kind of see what these guys are doing on the crypto side, right? If you're into crypto, you typically do see through a lot of the news, a lot of the governments, right? You spend a lot of time on Twitter uh, and that can really uh, make you see through all of this kind of uh, shades that they throw in front of your face with the media, right? So what we will say with this is yes, if Trump wins, it's going to crash. And we've explained that because the stock market will crash and then uh, it, will it will drag Bitcoin down. And if Kamala wins, then we're getting a lot more regulation in crypto. We're going to get a lot more witch hunts in crypto. Uh, and that is just going to make anyone that's investing in crypto right now very, very cautious. So I think a lot of the ETF guys will pull out. A lot of the miners will start to sell as well. Uh, and it will just be a bit of a free fall from that point. Okay, so if Trump wins, yes, we get a dump. If Kamala wins, we get an absolute free fall, potentially as low as 50 or 40k. But after both of those scenarios have played out, and we've hit that bottom point, I do believe we go on a massive bull run, okay? Uh, particularly in crypto land. And the reason for this is just based on the activity we've seen this year, just based on ETFs holding over 24 billion this year alone, okay? That's insane. That's comparable to other ETFs in the traditional markets. And that alone is just bringing the market cap of Bitcoin up. It's lowering the supply. It's making the exchanges a lot less liquid. Uh, and therefore, it is going to be a reason that uh, we do get that supply crunch. We do get a bit of bullish momentum from that point and I do believe 100k is very much in reach after the election no matter who wins here okay but so in summary the reason why I think both scenarios no matter who wins I do believe we dump okay and the Trump side is obviously because the Democrats will rage quit the economy dragging the stock market down therefore dragging Bitcoin down okay the Democrat side the Harris side is heavily into regulating crypto and doesn't like crypto at all. Therefore, the people invested in crypto will pull out out of fear, okay? Now, let's look at some stats here because I do believe Bitcoin does go up. Uh, we are seeing greed, okay? You guys seem to not care about this, right? You're still greedy, you're still buying Bitcoin and that is reflected in the fear and greed index. That's fine, do what you want, but uh, I am on the sidelines right here uh, but besides a small few grid bots that I'm running, okay? We are looking at ETFs again, guys, uh, we can see uh, yes total 23 billion here uh, and that's fantastic that's something that is is huge in terms of uh, market cap increase for, for Bitcoin so that's fantastic uh, and then if we are looking at our favorite indicator here the Caprol Bitcoin macro index that is currently green as well okay so these are three massive indications that we are potentially 
about to blast off here. That and we are literally just under the all time high. So long term macro, it is looking incredibly good for Bitcoin. OK, that is a fact, all right? And we are also seeing these miners uh, actually start to increase their spending here as well uh, when it does come to Bitcoin. So macro for Bitcoin looking fantastic, but I'm just going to warn you again, guys, the next two weeks, and this, this chart is crazy, right? But the next two weeks uh, is purely a volatile sea of mess. If you are a beginner trader, do not try to trade this. This is going to be incredibly messy. You are going to get stopped out a hell of a lot, and it's just going to be a terrible, terrible idea to trade this if you're new, okay? If you are a bit more advanced, okay, you've been in the market for a few events here, you were here for COVID, you were here for all of the other stuff, right? Then uh, this is actually something where you might want to consider layering in orders to both sides of price, okay? And letting that volatility come and just bang, 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 refresh those orders. And then whatever happens here, we get a blue state win, right? In a couple days. Bang. Okay. Maybe we have buy orders down uh, at 66, 67K where we fill those orders. Then a red state wins. Bang. It starts to go up again. You hit your take profit. Okay. Then we get a blue state. You've refilled your orders. Bang. You, you kind of see what I'm going here with this, right? You can see that this is going to be volatile. The results are going to come out in that kind of fashion. All right. So yes, they're going to try and make it look as even as possible because there's a lot of money on this, uh, j not just from the betting industry, but from everything and everyone in the ec economic world of the United States, right? So what we will say with this is it's going to be incredibly volatile, okay? They're going to want to shake up the markets here. And if you're going to be making money from this, the best way to do so is layering in orders, having your bids down here in the mid 60s, okay? Having your sales in the high 60s to mid 70s, okay? And then just layering in those orders, letting it go. Uh, and then, yeah, as we get towards the last few states to confirm that election results, you want to exit. You want to absolutely avoid trading at all costs because we will absolutely bang it down from that point, okay? Uh, and yes, we could pump. I'm not against the, the idea of pumping here, but uh, just from my analysis here, and just from my experience, I do expect the fear to take over more than anything. And that is why I'm not going to be buying at that election time result, okay? I'm gonna be waiting for a dump, okay? Waiting for a trap, waiting for some structure to break, and then potentially banging in a short, but more more of my portfolio is gonna be looking at buying Bitcoin after the dump, as well as that, obviously, buying all of the altcoins, okay? If you're in the Patreon, you've got the ebook. You will know the 50 altcoins that I'm looking to buy, okay? And yes, I have limit orders for all of those uh, right just right down in the depths, just in case if Bitcoin does want to slam it down and let's say Kamala wins, right? If Bitcoin slams it down, all of these altcoins are going to crash and that's going to be a huge, huge opportunity to make literally two, three X in a matter of weeks on those altcoins, okay? Let's dive in to the charts. If you haven't liked the video yet, absolutely fine. But if you could, it does help me out a lot. I'm a small channel looking to grow a lot more. Been trading for like eight years. I'm a 30 year old man. I would love for this channel to get a bit bigger. So if you want to help with that, if you want to support the course, all you got to do, press the little button, turn it blue. All right. Fantastic stuff. Let's take a look at the charts here, starting with the long term. We can see that, uh, yes, we had a bit of a parabolic curve here. Up, running up towards the election. We did call this, okay? We said, yes, as this election does get closer, we should be expecting that run up, okay? Trump is a massive marketer, okay? That's what he does. So if he's going to market that he's winning, then yes, Bitcoin is going to pump. And that is that has happened spectacularly, okay? We have now broken that parabolic curve, okay? So I'm looking at this curve here. We've broken that structure and we've broken that trend line. And now we are kind of in this fight for the bull market barrier. Lots and lots of... Uh, I would say fear is, is the bluntest, frankest way to put this, right? Lots of fear yesterday uh, as we did see a lot of takeover on X, on Twitter uh, from the Kamala campaign. Okay, these guys figured out the algorithm. They pumped their stuff everywhere and it took a little bit of time for Trump to catch up. Okay, so what we will say here with this is yes, that was reflected in the chart and that just goes to show my point here where I do think it dumps 
when we do get that blue state winning. And I do think it pumps when Trump does win a state as well. Okay, so what we will say is, uh, yeah, we have dumped down below this trend line right now. Uh, typically in TA, we would expect to retest this trend line. I think that's absolutely plausible. 71K makes sense. Okay, uh, we are going to have two weeks here of basically sideways disgusting action. Uh, sometimes these election results can come in within a few days. So I do just want to stress that. But I do think they'll, they'll long it out. Okay, you, you guys know how they work. They'll make it as long as they can uh, in order to count the votes. Okay, so uh, we will see how that goes. But uh, yeah, we're, we're looking between 10 and 14 days if I'm going to put a prediction on it, okay? But right now, yeah, we had a massive red uh, cascade of candles, uh, and now uh, we have got a green one here today. Still 16 hours in the day, so uh, yeah, we can go down lower, of course, but as of right now, still fighting for this bull market barrier. If you don't know what this bull market barrier is, guys, and you are maybe new to the channel, then uh, this is essentially what we need to get above to go parabolic, right? You can see this every time very, very clearly, okay? 20k run there, okay? Uh, the 60k run here, bang, okay? And then, uh, yes, the most recent one we had this year or end of last year, when we're above it, parabolic, when we're below it, very, very sideways, okay? So um, what we're going to do here is expect sideways more, of course, but we'll, we should also be targeting areas in the dump, okay? So these areas that I'm going to be targeting here are based on the volume weighted ATR bands. So that is the average true range over a certain amount of candles weighted by volume. If there's more volume, this range expands. If there's less volume, this range decreases. Very, very simple. What you gotta know is, yeah, there's a top line and a bottom line, okay? And we have this for multiple time frames. And the more important thing here is, Yes, they are massive, massive supports, massive, massive buy zones or sell zones. Uh, and yes, if we get below them, that's a great sign that we are cascading into a black swan event. But once we reclaim them, it's usually a great sign that we can be buying. OK, so uh, I am basically going to be layering in orders at each one of these. OK, all the way down to 50K. Uh, if we do get that black swan event, I don't see us really going under 50k if we do it would be disgusting and uh, it, there's always the possibility that we slap it down to 30 as well but uh, more often than not guys uh, it's better to be just layering in orders if you are more of an investor right and i would not do this on a leverage okay that's a bad idea okay but layering in spot orders accumulating every level that we go down make sure you have like maybe 10 to 20 rounds here of ammo that you can buy with okay and then if we do get a massive dump down then your average entry is going to be getting lower and lower and then once we've got that confirmed low then maybe you can enter a, uh, a leverage long from that point uh, and then yeah we just ride it up from there uh, we we look for a massive bull run to 100k from there right so the lower this goes actually the better okay obviously if it goes to 10k we're in a lot of trouble <laughs> but uh, i'm willing to kind of stake that we don't go to 10k here it's very very unlikely bitcoin is a business market makers make billions of dollars off of this they're not going to let it sink into the abyss to the point where it's dead okay it's just not going to happen uh, that's not how business works all right you don't just let your company fail <laughs> right so what we will say with this is that uh, yeah we are looking for big buys particularly around 63k uh, particularly around 57k uh, and then anywhere kind of under that is 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 a bonus okay it's a bonus but what we will say as well is if we do start smashing it above 78k here i still want to wait for the election results to come through so if we bang up here over the next week okay and the election results aren't finished i'm not buying okay i'm not doing it all right maybe i'll take a few small scalps but nothing huge okay <coughs> but after the election and we've had that dump or maybe a pullback, right? Then uh, that's when we start to look for the buys. That's when we start to really get back into the macro swing of things uh, in which we can be targeting that massive 20% trade. If we go down to the midterm here, uh, we did have our signals yesterday. None of those were criteria that were hit, okay? This one here, <clears throat> looks like it was hit, but we were looking to get under the volume weighted ATR band and close candles under there. That did not happen. Uh, the paid signal, actually, both paid signals did come through here, as you can see here. Beautiful little trade towards the upside on Doge. Okay, Doge was banging it, still is banging it, outperforming literally the whole market right now. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, literally a dog. A, a dog coin is 
it, yeah. But we can see here that, uh, yeah, there was a nice 2% trade there. And then we had another one targeted here. Uh, so after we got above this area, we retested, we broke the high. That was the time to get in uh, and taking profit around this area would have been fine. Okay, if you did ride it up, great. Okay, I don't know why you would do that. But uh, yeah, there was a nice 1.7% uh, trade here at least up to the 15 minute volumated ATR band. So yeah, if you got both of those trades in the paid signals, good job. Uh, there's, uh, there's, I think there's like five or six of you guys in there. But uh, if you did get that, Fantastic stuff and congrats, right? Uh, but back to Bitcoin here. It does look like it's pumping here today. Don't let this fool you, okay? When these results start coming in, this is going to get incredibly volatile, okay? So the best thing to do is layer in orders around this period, okay? Uh, and uh, after that, when the results are coming through, we've got a couple more states left to go, okay? Then you want to pull out the market, take your profit and run, wait for a dump, and then bang, okay? Wait for that low to be put in, wait for that uptrend to start, and then buy Bitcoin, buy altcoins. Don't buy Dogecoin. I don't know why people buy this, but it does go up. So if you want to buy it, buy it, but I am buying it, <laughs> okay? And what we will say as well is my picks are still valid here. I'm looking at Gala, okay? I'm looking at Bitcoin, and I am looking at uh, at some other stuff as well, okay? Um, Coco Coin being one of them, and uh, Coco Coin's been performing pretty well, actually. So good stuff. Um, the other thing as well, I'm going to be putting out a video tomorrow, guys, over uh, three altcoins that I think you guys should probably get involved with, okay? Uh, and they're not my top picks like the last video, but these are super, super important. One of them is Sui, okay? A very, very important coin. We've been using this in our signals, and it's been performing fantastically, okay? So, uh, good stuff there. Look how nicely this trades. It's just beautiful, okay? So, yeah, we will be uh, targeting a few of those for buys here over the next few days, and uh, I will definitely, uh, well, not for buys over the next few days, but we'll definitely be highlighting them over the next few days. Uh, then we get the dump, then we can buy them, and then we go. We go to the moon from that, okay? So, in summary here, guys, super volatile over the next two weeks, okay? We're going to be looking to trade that volatility with essentially a grid bot, a manual grid bot, layering orders to both sides. If we go up, we refill our orders. If we go down, we refill our orders, okay? Good. Um, <clears throat> and then, from that point, what we'll be looking to do is, uh, is get out of the market before the results come in, okay? One day, two days before the results come in, and then... Uh, after that, yes, we look for the dump, and then yes, we look for the pump where we buy as much as we can in which we make copious amounts of cash and we ride this bad boy to 100k. I know I sound like a moon boy here, but I'm non-biased. The on-chain has been looking fantastic for Bitcoin, okay? Uh, the ETFs are looking fantastic for Bitcoin. It's literally just get this event out the way, all right? Let the dump happen, and then everybody's going to pour back in because whoever wins... Most people are going to think the world is screwed anyway, so they're going to need this this asset, this security asset, which is Bitcoin, okay? And they're going to be looking for some quick gains, so then they will be looking for crypto, like altcoins, all right? So we are in the perfect position right now, guys. We are in the perfect position to make a lot of money. We just have to play it the right way. We just have to not let our adrenaline take over. Not high leverage. You don't need high leverage with this stuff, okay? Literally, with altcoins, you're going to be making 5, 6x. You don't need a high leverage, all right? So, what we're saying here is play the volatility, wait for the dump, buy, and then ride everything to the moon. That's the plan here coming in to December and January, okay? Have a great day. Like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.